What's going on is Fizz, bringing you the news, the gaming first-person shooter gaming news, because that's what I like to do. I like to break it down for you. If you're an, if you're an Activision shareholder, I'm specifically going to be talking about this intellectual property in the Activision's portfolio that's not doing so good. The numbers are not really there. They're starting to decline. There's a lot of worry. The, and there's other, there's other IPs that are within Activision portfolio that are declining as well. And I think that's a theme behind the IPs that uh, they're not addressing. And I'm going to cover those in the video. Maybe you're not, maybe you're concerned as to why the stock went from $24 to $18 and should, in my opinion, be no, be no more than $10. So I'm going to talk specifically about Call of Duty. I've been on this, I've been on uh, YouTube since 2006 from playing. I patronized every single Call of Duty game out there. So I'm specifically talking to the investors of Activision to give you my opinion as what they would call a casual gamer. That means that if you're a casual gamer, you're basically, that spectrum includes everybody. So if you want to sell something to somebody, you want to make sure that includes everybody out there and then they have a, that they could buy your game. And see, in what is happening now with the Call of Duty franchise is that this game has become um, funneled down to a small anomalous group of people and they've moved completely uh, away from the larger masses of everybody who could play their game and have fun. So I can equate it to something like this. In Black Ops 1, during Black Ops 1, I think that was about three or four games ago, you can equate Black Ops 1 to almost the same type of um, fun and action and the amount of players as to what Minecraft is today. Minecraft sold to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. And the reason why I sold to Microsoft for $2.5 billion is because everybody could play the game and enjoy it you know, there was no, you know, there was no get in the game. You got to earn this certain level. And, you know, and it just got to the point where, you know, uh, it's not fun anymore because when you, when you come home and, and you, or somebody, you know, if it doesn't appeal to the masses and somebody gets home and they decide to play the Call of Duty game and then he had to jump through all these hoops to get to a certain part and this person's there and the other guy comes here and he's playing and this guy beats this guy. Guy doesn't want to take a beating. It doesn't become fun to him. He's leaving work or wherever he's at. He's coming back to his house. He wants to enjoy the game. He can't enjoy the game. If you look at games like Call of Duty 4 and the franchise and some of the other ones, you know anybody could pick up an M16 and they were always on the same level. They, now they're introducing stuff like the exoskeleton suit, which is a boost system. There's a totally different dynamic, which it completely steers away from the. Uh, first person military uh classic military first person shooter which everybody can um, correlate and relate to whereas to where now you're moving into a different realm people are boosting around that's another portion and it and it drives up the curve that somebody else has to learn and if that person or those persons and you're totally taking that spectrum of players away then that's sales that are going to be gone from the game that's undeniable they right? they're not going to stick around and play the game they're not going to take a beating they're not going to, they don't have the time to play that type of game call of duty is a classic first person military shooter game and no and it will never be old because everybody can relate to a military shooter game everybody loved that game all they had to do was focus and this is where I say a lot of the problems coming into Activision is that they have a problem with the research and development department because what they're doing is they're taking a shortcut and going straight to people who are uh, relevant in social media YouTube Facebook and that represents a very small portion of people who actually buy this game and the other games and they're in 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 the realm of their portfolio so they don't really do the research and development and going and asking uh, the majority of the people of what they want to see in a classic mili military first person shooter. What can they improve on to make that game better for the next generation? Instead, they just they gravitate to whatever is popular on the social media, and then that is the voice of what the game should be. And literally, it's such an anomalous group of people that 
it cuts out a huge majority of persons that would, would uh, purchase your game. So therefore, you can see, and the point that I'm trying to make here is that uh, they're making the game for a very, very small group of people. A very small group of people who don't even appreciate the, what they're doing for them. You know, they make they make a game for certain groups of uh, certain small groups of or anomalous groups of people, and on Twitter, you know, the CEO of publishing takes pictures with these guys, and their end game is to promote a, a dot TV, and it has nothing to do with the game itself. Literally, if you're a shareholder of Activision, what all your game is doing is is draining money from Activision. And pushing a different entity that has nothing, and you gain no units of sales. There hasn't been no proven sales from um, that TV that is connected to esports that is that is making that is producing unit sales for Activision. So essentially, you shareholders, is what is happening with your game is that because the CEO of publishing and because the they didn't do the research and, and development and, and actually going out and talking to the groups of people who are not on YouTube, who are not on Facebook, who are not on Twitter, you know, actually doing the legwork to talk to the people who patronize their game. They're going straight to whatever the hot thing and, and social media. They jump on it head first without even looking at the consequences. And now, um, Activision is being led, led by their nose straight into promoting a dot TV that's not benefiting not only the shareholders but it's destroying the game and it's uh, um, and it's not uh, it's it's not uh, it's not working for anybody else out here they don't they don't see what there's no vision for them it's completely it's not Call of Duty anymore it's something else and if you're if you're marketing it and you're putting Call of Duty on that game and you're putting that name on there then that's what people are going to expect it to be. If it's something else and it's totally a different game, then they're not going to they're not going to buy this game. And so what happens is because Activision is not doing the research, and then they jump headfirst into uh, being led by whatever is popular in social media, then they have to overcompensate not only being used by the dot TVs and and the other things that whatever they think is popular because they don't do the research, now they have to come back to the shareholders and allocate X amount of dollars being used to overcompensate for them not doing the research in, in uh, advertising and marketing. So basically, you know, you this game is being made for a very small anomalous group that is promoting something that's completely outside of sales of development of Call of Duty, then they have to over, overcompensate with uh, marketing and advertising just to sell the game because they didn't do the research and development. Here's a problem what's going on if you're an Activision shareholder. Whoever is at the core of making decisions at Activision need to hire a or need to um, cultivate a a team of people who who know social media, who checks out social media, who understands you know the true meaning of social media. Actually, just do the do the work, and then and then um, go out and talk to the people who enjoy your game, and then research and develop in from there. And you would save I don't know probably five hundred million dollars in marketing and, and advertising. Just to reach the numbers that you keep chasing, it's your IPs are not dying because they're dying, uh, because they're uh, bad IPs. They're be, they're dying because you're not listening to the core audience that you were focusing on the first time. You know, yeah, if we if we don't listen, if we listen to everybody, then the game will never get done. But you're focusing on a very small anomalous group of people. Who don't have the best interest of action Activision in mind? Their end game is to be on Dot TV, and the people who will run the Dot TV, who use your game to promote their idea, their end game is to sell their Dot TV like Twitch, and they're using you shareholders to accomplish that. And eventually, you know, like I said, and that's why the stock should not be more than ten dollars. 
And that's the truth about Activision. If you're an Activision shareholder, I, I hope you seriously call up a, a board meeting because you, the people you have running the organization are not are try, are are taking such a shortcut to um, get this to get games out and it's impulse buying, um, shock and awe, no research and development, and then they just come back and say, well, let's. Let's just spend 80% of our budget or 90% of whatever it is, over 50, 60, 70. I don't know. It's a huge budget I've seen. Like $500, $700 million advertising, marketing a game. I mean, you can spend that money on, on a nice research and development team and get groups and study the people you actually focus to, and you would have a great game. Instead, you're focusing on a small group of people who, who you think are relevant that are not because not everybody out here is looking at not everybody out here is on the internet. 25 million, you know at the highest point of your game in Black Ops 1, there were 2.5 million people that were concurrent users that were on this game for just the Xbox alone. There's not even 4,000 people on your game on any given day. Maybe on the weekend you hit 20,000. That's 20 million. You're at 0.01% or less of the total population who purchased your game. So if you have concurrent users that are constantly watching your game and all this all this all this DLC, all the add-ons and the microtransactions that they're paying these people to work in the studios to sell to the people who are supposedly supposed to be online, that's just a waste of resources and it's costing your studio tons and tons of money. So not only you so your whole anticipation is is to sell this game, hopefully everybody buys it, hopefully everybody buys the DLC in advance, and then that curve just falls off like this, and then why is your studio working on uh, DLC and uh, extra packages? You're pitching Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with all this extra stuff. There's not going to be anybody around to buy that, because you're not catering to the masses. So what's the point of having your studio doing that and wasting all that money on advertising? That's what's going on with your one IP in the Activision profile. So if Activision is not doing the research and development as far as studying the audience who plays their game and getting feedback and making the game for their audience and not tell and not having uh, community managers block them, the people who patronize them, or or having uh, uh, professional teams sitting there uh, cursing at the companies that they that they uh that you know it's completely backwards is what's going on in your IP it's just terrible so that's it um that is Activision if you own the, if you own shares in Activision um there's a there is a lot of mold underneath whatever it is and it's going to come out to the surface um, I say the stock is no more than ten dollars. There's a huge problem. There's a huge disconnect between the total population and what uh, the heads of studio and CEOs are focusing on as far as um, uh, social media is concerned, and not focusing on the research and development of the total casual community that patronized the game in the first place. Anyways, that's my report. I don't know where, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is going to um, make it past Christmas as far as concurrent users. You might have a, you might have a somewhat of a push in the beginning, but I think this is going to be the lowest selling Call of Duty of all time. And what is being said right now is nothing more than Black Ops 2 with exoskeleton suits. So there's no creativity there. They just picked up another studio. They worked on three years and how the exosuit should move. I mean, um, same pick system, same zombies, uh, and then more catering to an anomalous group that's end goal is to have .TV be another Twitch sell-off. So you guys are being used. I don't know what you're going to do about it, but if I was a shareholder, I'd be pretty upset or I'd sell one way or the other. Till next time, it's your boy Fist reporting on first-person shooter gaming news. Until next time, peace!